Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing my five top tips on how to apply false lashes. I struggled with them in the beginning and I wish somebody had given me these tips to make my life easier. So I'm here to share them with you and I hope you can be a pro by the time this video is done. But before we get into that, don't forget to subscribe, ring that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a new video, especially ones like these where I share Share my top tips for beauty and without further ado let's get into the video all right so I have zoomed in super close so you guys can see what I'm doing hopefully and um, first of all I like I, because I have a hooded eye I like wearing lashes these are from ColourPop I like wearing lashes that have a large, longer flare at the at the end of the eye, and you know co go from the short inside to the longer outside. But uh, it depends on your eye shape. Some people like to wear also the ones that are completely rounded that don't that don't have like this fading in the you know in the middle of the eye. But like I said, I like these because it also makes me makes my eyes look more elongated. So just a tip there. Lashes are also really nice to wear when you have hooded eyes because it kind of lifts that hood and prevents it from, you know, for some reason your eye doesn't look like it's saggy or anything like that. So another, you know, plus to wearing falsies. But before we start applying this, there's certain things that you have to do to prep them. And you will need, of course, your lashes and some tweezers. You can either use your regular, you know, tweezers to pluck your pluck your eyelashes. Whoa, whoa, what? Or, I mean, not your eyelashes. Don't pluck your eyelashes, please. <laughs> to pluck your eyebrows um, or any slivers in your hands or whatever and uh, or these these are kind of um, ones that these are from Lily lashes you know sometimes certain companies will give them to you to use um, you know to use as to apply like this or there's these from Valor lashes that I got also you can see here they have like that little kind of like that pointed long tip as well and they've got a little comb on this side so I personally, I can't use these because to me, they're kind of on the bulkier side for me. Um, but I, so I like to use these regular tweezers. Some people are a little hesitant to use these because they're afraid they're gonna poke their eye, but I have already mastered that part of it. So I have these. And then you're gonna need a pair of little scissors, just like these. These have, you know, like a needle nose scissors. These are cute, they look like a stork and i got these on amazon and i of course i will link them link them down below and last but not least you're going to need some glue now i have an old glue that somebody i think one of my friends gave me as a test tube but uh, you can either use the dual lash which is super common or the uh, house of lashes is another one that i've heard that is really good but i have not tried that one if i try it i will keep you guys updated so anyway the dual lash is the most common one it's the one that you can find at most drugstores it's really good glue and i've used it before okay so that's what you will need now before we get started on that my that was you know number one those are things you need now for my second tip, you are going, I recommend using a dark, either a dark brown or a black coal liner so that you can line your upper waterline. And I'm gonna do that right now and I'll tell you in a minute why. Oops, without poking your eye. Like so. And if you struggle with that, just look in the opposite direction so that your eye doesn't feel like it's gonna be poked. <laughs> but if you could do it, it really helps your lashes look a lot fuller and darker and it just gives you that sultry look. So if you can you know, tolerate uh, lining your upper water line, some people just close their eyes and you know, do go back and forth. 
that way they're not feeling like they're poking their eye out so that's the other tip my other within the same liner tip it's nice to have a thick liner like i have right now uh, right now i did a wing liner but even if you don't like a wing when you apply lashes it's nice to have that thick wing wing so it hides the band and it looks like you're wearing just eyeliner from your lashes so those are the eyeliner tips now for the for your lashes when applying them um you want to take them out of the course of this and then um, i like to take my tweezers and let me see if i can do this with you showing the camera and i like to grab the outside since that one is most likely the one i'm going to cut so if i end up pulling out a lash it won't it won't be a big deal see so i pull it out with my tweezers super easy set that one down and then my other the other one there we go use that so the next tip is going to be to measure measure and cut your lashes so all uh, and measure each individual you know uh, lash not each individual like little lash but each <laughs> each set like measure them individually because our eyes are not always the same shape so what i'm gonna do is i just place it over and sometimes it's nice because it already has like some sticky on it from being in the package so you can kind of place them a little easier and see where you need to cut now see how you don't want it to be too close to the inner eye one because it's harder to get there and two trust me it feels like you're poking your eye out when you blink if you go too close to your tear duct area so i always like to go a little bit back and then you can finish the line here with black eyeliner or the black eyeliner already on there is going to help and then you'll see how much it comes out over here and then the other tip is especially if you have mature eyes or you have downturned eyes you can either have mature eyes which you know end up drooping being a little bit droopier or you already have that shape where your eyes are downturned you want to cut a little bit you know maybe a little bit closer to the inner no, don't go all the way to the edge of the eye that way otherwise the lash is going to make your eye look droopier so if you want that lifted look you want to cut the the lash just right there before the end of your eyelid so i see here let me see how much i need to cut and they some of the lashes are nice because they come in like little clusters and then you can just count how many clusters of lashes you can you should cut but this one i don't think shows much and then the, you know you want to bend it like that to make it make sure it's shaped to your eye let me see oh so about that much so i'm going to take my little scissors and cut right there you can always cut a little bit more but of course you can't glue back on be conservative and then if it's still too long you can always cut more off so then i'm going to try this on again yep that will do as you can see i did not go all the way to the end of my eye so that one's ready to go i'm going to do the same with the other eye i'll be right back all right so the other lash is cut and most of these lashes you can use more than once so I recommend when you take them off use micellar water to take them off don't use any oils because the oil oil based uh, eye removers will break down the band so if you want to keep reusing your eyelashes at least you know a few times uh, you want to make sure that you take it off you take these off first with my something like my cellar water and then you can go in with your oil base eye remover if that's what you use all right so now i'm going to apply the glue and what i like to do is i take take it i put, use my my tweezer and then i'll just go all along let me see if i can show you guys see the band how it's 
Let me see if it'll show. See how it's flat? That flat side. I don't know if I can see, if you guys can see. I think you can see it. That flat side is where I will be applying the glue. So there's like a little, little, little lip. There's some lashes that come with a transparent band, but they still have a little area where you can apply the glue. They just, because the glue usually dries clear. Unless you buy the black duo, then it'll look like you have eyeliner on. I'm still kind of afraid to use the black duo. So I'm afraid it's going to, gonna make a mess. <laughs> All right, so what I like to do is kind of let it, you can either blow on it or you could just let it sit and see how it's kind of, see how it's got the glue on there? That will dry clear, but for now I'm just waiting for it to dry semi-clear. You don't want it to be completely dry, but you want it to be really super tacky because it's going to make, trust me, your life a lot easier. You won't have the, the um, the glue you know wet and sliding all around your eye making things harder for you at the same time you don't want it to be too dry because then it will fall off you'll end up walking around with one eye eyelash hanging off we don't want that <laughs> all right you can blow on them if you're applying them on somebody else do not blow on them because i don't think they want our uh our germs on them <laughs> just wait for them to dry I'm just kind of doing it for the purpose of the video so now my next tip is going to be you need to look down now first you put your head back and then you look down and I when I mean look down I used to be like okay I'm looking down and I would just put my mirror like diagonal no literally look down into your mirror put your head up look down and start in the middle in the center that's where i like to start and then i grab it and put it on the edge of my eye and then i grab the center and glue that on and if the glue gets too dry then you have to reapply it but this one i think we gave it enough time. And then we'll come back to it, but just let that one, let that last dry properly. You can even push it down. You can, if some people even don't use uh, tweezers, they just use their eye. I mean, they just use your eye. <laughs> they just use their fingers. They find that it's a lot easier to just you know, you can move it around and push it in with your fingers as well. Whatever works. Now I'm going to apply the other side. And just let that side dry. Meanwhile, you can also just uh, apply the. Usually what I do is I like to just apply the glue, let them sit while I do other, you know, something else. Maybe apply my lower lash mascara. And then while the glue is drying, this glue tends to dry pretty fast. So, but I think the duo takes at least at least 30 seconds or more, or 30 seconds or 60 seconds to dry. I don't remember exactly. So this one, dry. And see how the having that thick liner helps with with it not showing that black band. You kind of. Um, camouflage the back the black band when when you have a black liner and see how I didn't go all the way down to the end here I just cut it a little bit higher that's what that's what we want to give our eyes some flare make our eyes look awake not droopy now if you're wondering how dry should it be look I can still see some of the glue oops I can still see some of the glue, but as you can see, it's starting to get transparent, which means that it's starting to get tacky. And once that's starting to get tacky, it's time to put it on. So again, head up, eyes down. Start with the center. Kind of hold it there for a little bit. Then put it on the edge. 
the outside, I'm sorry, and then the center of your eye, like a cell. And that is all there is to it. Also, looking down at your, your lash, like this, you can actually see how that you're not applying it too high up on the lid. You're applying it as close as possible to your natural lash line. And then what I like to do, well this one I'll let it dry, but what I like to do is go back and squeeze the lashes with my natural lashes so they kind of blend in together another thing i like to do as well is i will grab some mascara something like this where it has a nice like really the big you know the teeth really sticking out nothing too fuzzy and then i'll just go down here and kind of because sometimes when you do your your um your eyeshadow your lashes will have that powder, you know, they'll be powdery. So by doing this, then you get your regular lashes. Your real lashes will get dark. And then also that will help stick them to the top. Oh, you know, that will help them stick when you sandwich them like this. And now before they fully dry, then you want to go up. Because otherwise you feel, will feel like you're wearing baseball cap on your eyes <laughs> I used to hate that I used to be like how can people stand wearing lashes when I feel like I'm wearing something dark uh, on my lids well it's because I wasn't pushing back on them like that and that helps also with not feeling like you're poking your eye out and then the same goes here um, going to apply more mascara Ooh. I don't know if this one didn't didn't want to stick now here's the perfect example too the corners are pretty hard to stick so I usually put extra glue which I didn't do this time so if you have a corner that's being stubborn like this center one what I like to do is I grab my little glue wand and with if you use the duo you'll have to use something point you know a little bit pointy that's why i like the brush kind of glue and then you go in there and you put it put a little drop on your eyelid in between and then you can stick the lash back on and the same goes when the outside if that happens with the outside because like i said the corners are usually the hardest to stay for some reason that's why it's also nice to bend your lashes. So then, I think that was, this is tip number five. The, what do you call it? Your uh, mascara. Oop, without poking your eye. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> without poking your eye out, of course. And squeeze. I've never poked myself with the tweezers, but I've always poked myself with mascara. And if you still see that you have, you know, if you haven't applied liner yet, make sure you apply liner in the center to complete the band. And I'm not talking about a rock band. No, I'm just kidding. Bad joke. Um, and then, as you can see, I, since I stabbed myself, I have it here, so I'm going to wait for it to dry, and then I'll scrape it off so that is how you apply your lashes so those are my top tips for applying lashes i hope that they help you out in applying your lashes especially if you like wearing uh, eyelash extensions and you're not able to do that right now hopefully soon sounds like they are reopening a lot of states so hopefully soon you can 
get back to applying that but in the meantime these are really nice to wear for special occasions so if you have any questions or whatever don't forget to leave them in the comments below if you have any other tips that will help every anybody make sure to leave those down below so thank you for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up share it with anybody that you think it might be useful to and i will see you guys in the next one bye